Alright, so it's been a while since we've made a video, you know, got kind of caught up with life and, and all that kind of stuff, but um, I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos lately and uh, I've gotten quite a bit of inspiration. Uh, lately, uh, it's been Jonathan Katz Moses. Uh, he's, he does these dovetails that are have absolutely inspired me and I've gone out and bought all these new tools and, <laughs> and all that. And part of the project that I'm doing today is I'm going to be making a uh, wood carver's mallet and I'm going to be turning it on the lathe. But some of the new tools, that I, some of the new hand tools that I've uh, gotten recently is I've um, got this uh, Western dovetail saw. Uh, it's a Veritas and uh, it's nice, but it, it cuts on the uh, push instead of the pull. And I found that I kind of like it to cut on the pole a little bit better. So I ended up getting this um, Suzanne uh, Japanese dovetail saw and it works so much better. I mean, it cuts like a dream. It, it's absolutely fantastic. So I, I definitely recommend um, this dovetail saw over a Western one. And then just some other essential tools, you know, the engineering square, um, Dividers, you don't need dividers uh, to do dovetails, but it definitely makes things a lot easier. You know, just got these on Amazon. They were really inexpensive. Marking knife, uh, you know, marking knife, you can get a lot more precise than you can with pencil. And of course, your, your depth gauge or your depth marker, whatever you want to call it, it's adjustable as well. Uh, I got this little uh, dovetail jig here. It was one that I found on, on Amazon. Uh, I mainly got this one because the one that Jonathan Katz Moses is on back order right now and I kind of wanted to mess around and try something a little bit, uh, just yeah, mess around with it and see, see if I liked it, see if I didn't like it. I'll definitely order his once it uh, gets out of back order status, but this one this one works pretty well. It's, uh, it's aluminum. It's got magnets on it. It's got little silicone grips on it that hold it onto the wood a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, all in all, for just being a couple dollars on Amazon, you know, can't, can't really complain. Coping saw. You really don't need a coping saw for to cut out um, the dovetails, uh, to cut out the waste of the dovetails. I bought one anyways. Um, it helps get the majority of it out, and then I can just... Uh, hit it the rest of the way with chisels instead of having to chisel it out the entire way. I bought some new chisels. I bought Buck Brothers ones. Um, some people might give me crap for, for that because they're not uh, Lee Nielsen's or Stanley Sweethearts or whatever. Uh, but to be honest with you, I, I like Buck Brothers. I've got uh, some lathe tools that are Buck Brothers um, as well. These are the ones that actually came with my shopsmith. And, um, they're nice. I mean, as long as you sharpen them up uh, properly, uh, get, a, get a nice bevel on them and everything, then they do the job. So, you know, can't really complain and, you know, you just get them at the local hardware store um, and you shape them how you want to shape them and sharpen them how you want to sharpen them and um, it's good tool steel. It ultimately does the job. So I got these in the three, uh, a three pack, which came with the half inch, three quarter inch, and the one inch. And then I bought the quarter inch and the five eighths inch um, off to the side. I probably spent like $40 on these chisels total. You know, they're um, inexpensive um, it, when it comes to chisels, but uh, I think that they'll do the job just fine. Um, now when it comes to sharpening, I ordered, I was kind of splurged a little bit and got this kit from Knife Planet, and it's really cool. Um, you know, you've got your flattening stone that it comes with. Um, I ended up ordering a strop as well from, um, from Amazon, and um, this one here, it comes with the one, uh, excuse me, 400 grit and 1000 grit uh, whetstone. It's got a little rubber mount, and then uh, it's got a little uh, bamboo uh, no-slip guy that everything goes into. And then it also has the 3,000 and 8,000 grit um, whetstones as well. I sharpened a knife last night uh, on this just to mess around with it, and it is scary sharp. Uh, I'm just waiting to receive the, um, I ordered the Veritas honing uh, jig. And 
uh, I'm just waiting to get that before I go through and start to sharpen up my chisels and sharpen up my planes and, and all that kind of stuff because I want to make sure that I get that, that perfect bevel uh, on there. And finally, I've been watching a lot of uh, Nick Zamardi, Nick Zametti, however you say that. I've been watching a lot of his videos and he always has his Yorkshire grit and I had to I had to order some. You know, this is this seems to be the bee's knees to him. He does it with with everything. Um, so I had to order me some of that. I'm gonna be trying this out today to see how it works. And then I also ordered some of the Shella Wax Cream. I've already tried this stuff. Um, I used it on another project that I was working on last week, and it's okay. Um, the thing that I don't like about it is if you get a little bit too much of a buildup it will actually leave a line um, that dries on your project and then you've got to go through and sand it off and then kind of redo everything. So, you know, it, it dries really, really hard, which is nice and that's what it's, it's supposed to do, but it's just not very forgiving. So I just haven't figured out what the ratio is that I need to uh, do with this. So, so I, I got to experiment with this one a little bit more. And then finally, I ordered a new parting tool. Uh, this one's a carbide tip one. This is by Simply um, Simply Wood Turning Tools, and um, you know, got this uh, parting tool and uh, the handle. This came uh, together, and then ordered a, a hollowing tool as well at the same time. These are just um, interchangeable. This is kind of uh, foreign to me because I usually like to make my own uh, lathe tools. Um, I've made a couple of them uh, based off of the Easy Wood Tools. Um, models um, and their carbide tips but uh, honestly I just needed to get a project done and um, I needed to order these and uh, I'm, I'm glad I did a lot of weight to this I mean this one here probably weighs a good four pounds at least so uh, not a whole lot of chatter with it and it, I'm, I'm really happy with it I would definitely buy Simply Wood Tools again other than that that's about what I've been up to lately. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're going to get back on track and start doing videos more often again. Uh, just life got in the way. So, thank you again.